Alright, so in this video I'm going to show you how to um, keep a feeder cricket cage type of thing, or tub. Um, especially for people who have uh, reptiles and stuff, you will definitely need, um, like, well, it depends what type of, like if you have a leopard gecko, I guess you really don't need one, but if you have like a bearded dragon, or stuff that eats a lot, um, you're probably going to want to breed crickets. Um, so that's what I'm going to do, and uh, I'll show you how I keep them. Okay, so here I have um, a 58-quart uh, tub. It's pretty good-sized. Um, ah, I just fell backwards. Okay. Um, yeah, that's what I'm going to house them in, obviously. Okay. So, yeah, it's, uh, it's got some room in it for them. Good enough. Uh... So yeah, what you'll need is, um, you're going to need, um, oops, get in text message. Um, you're going to need egg cartons, broken up egg cartons. What I threw in there for fun are some, uh, toilet paper. Yeah. Um, and I just crumpled them up, ripped them up. This is only one of them, so I got a lot out of it. Um, then second, well, you don't really have to do what I did, but I did a tub, and I cut in a hole. Right there, it's kind of hard to see, but I'll outline it. Um, and I just put the top of bread. I don't have any cricket food yet, which I'm going to need. Um, so yeah, I just put the top of bread, because no one eats the top of the bread, like the top of the loaf. But, um, yeah, that's what I'm going to feed them for now. Um, and to breed them, since I don't have any substrate, because you don't need substrate, but since I don't have any hub substrate, to, uh, to have them breed in and lay their eggs in, uh, I put soil in this one, and I put one egg carton. You don't have to. I just decided to do that. Uh, but, yeah, you put soil in there, and you spray it, like, a lot. So it's super humid. And, um, yeah, that's pretty much all you need. Pretty easy. Um, yeah, it's like you don't have to, like, really customize it. I mean, unless you want to. I don't know. Okay, so first, I'm going to take these. And, um, just kind of throw them anywhere. Just kind of spread them out and stuff. It doesn't really matter. Alright, so that's pretty much good. I mean, because I put the stuff in the corner. Um, alright, so first I do the food. Move that stuff around. crawl into. Oh wait, I think I put it in. No, that was right. Okay, sorry. I was having a brain fart right there. Um, time for the breeder thing. Little breeder cage. Uh, Alright. And yeah, like I said, just spray it in. I already sprayed it in, so I'm not going to spray anymore. Um, I don't have my crickets yet. Um, I'm going to get crickets uh, Friday with my bearded dragon. So, um, yeah, normally you just put them in there and they do their stuff. Oh, for water, um, you get a sponge, you can do, or you can get, like, the cricker, cr not cricker, cricket, um, water, like, little gel ball things. I'm gonna get those, but for now, you get, well, I just have to get a sponge. You have to get a sponge, and you get it wet, and you put it, don't put a bowl of, like, water in there, because they'll drown, because they're stupid, because they're feeder crickets, and there's crickets in general. So yeah, like you just put in like a, a wet sponge and they'd get their water from that. I bet a wet, wet, pepper, ugh, wet paper towel would work too. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much how you set up your cricket keeper. 